hi guys welcome to my channel so today in this uh, video let's try to learn about the mg04 or the stock requirement list uh, for one material so most of the uh, will might not be up hi guys welcome to my channel so in this video let's uh, try to learn about the MD04 and how to review the stock uh, or the requirements list uh, for one material in the plant or the MRP area. So let's uh, go into the transaction MD04. So this MD04 is basically helpful to uh, review the stocks or the requirements uh, in the particular plant or the MRP area for one material code. So here I have the material code and here I have the MRP area. So if I specified something uh, for the material, like there is an MRP area existing, so I can type in the MRP area. So the output will be based on the MRP area and the material code combination. So if none is available or created for the material, so I can still go in with my plan code or I can use the plan code itself as my uh, MRP area, right? So let me go into this transaction. So here uh, in the MD04 output, I can see some very high level information of what MRP type is being used and what is the material type uh, that I'm looking at and what is the base unit of measure for this material code. And here down below, we do have a few parameters or the MRP elements that are going to describe about the MRP elements that we see on the screen here. So the MRP element, uh, it basically explains or details like what kind of a document is it? Is it a purchase order? Is, is it a purchase requisition or a planned order? Or it can be a production order or a process order and so on. So we do have uh, plenty of uh, MRP element data that we can see over here for any material and that depends on the procurement type and the planning parameters of the material that we are reviewing here. So before we go into the details of that, so let's uh, look at the uh, features that we have in this transaction. So here I have uh, the icon to expand the header details. So where in which I can uh, see the MRP related data for this material, which is coming directly from the material master. So instead of going into the material master here, I can click on this icon and uh, you know uh, look at the uh, high level data that has been maintained in the material master. Right. So along with that, I do have a few options, uh, something like a filter, where uh, if I just uh, choose the filter and here uh, I have the option uh, to look at the requirements or it can be the receipts or it can be, you know, that complete data for this uh, material. So if I'm going to choose only receipts, so then I'm going to see uh, only the purchase orders and the production orders, right? And if I choose only the requirements and the firm receipts so then I can see all the requirements for the material along with the, re the receipts. So now let's try to understand in, in more detail why uh, only the purchase orders appear when I choose the option as receipts. So we basically uh, when we look at these parameters so these are being considered as receipts and requirements right. So now when we talk about receipts so these are something that is going to increase the inventory uh, of that material in the plant. So that's the reason always they show up in a positive note, right? So from the name itself, we can understand that this purchase order, when it comes into the plant, right, or the goods receipt has been posted onto it, so the stock is going to increase my inventory of the material, right? So that's the reason it's always uh, considered as a receipt. So now I only see a purchase order for this material why because the procurement type what I use here is basically the uh, external procurement as you see here, right? So next we have the order reservations with the text as ORD RES. So these are order reservations and we see a material code uh, uh, just to the right side of it. So this material code is the one which is actually creating a requirement or a reservation for this uh, material 
right uh, of this much quantity of six kgs so here since it being a reservation or a kind of uh, a requirement so this is shown in the negative value so which means that the stocks are going to be reduced with this much of uh, quantities so now if i look at uh, or double click on this order reservation for this material SGI and 100 so i can see that this is the process order that is going to be consuming uh, 6 kg of this raw material right so similarly for the dependent requirements uh, we can see a planned order that would actually be uh, converted to a process order on a later stage so we always see an order reservation whenever there is a process order or a production order or we also call it as a firm receipt it means that the planning is done and we have uh, started to execute the plan right by creating a production order or a process order so in that cases we see this as an order reservation but whereas in case of a planned order that would always be as a dependent requirement right? because it can be cancelled at any point of time right so if we see a dependent requirement so it, it means that it's only a planned order but not a firm receipt so now here if we look at the calculation so the planned stock here which is coming from MMB it shows that I have a quantity of 25,000 16.683 kg is available in my, in my inventory and after I do the goods receipt of the purchase order of 9 kg that would increase the inventory to 25,000 uh, 25.683 kgs right and now looking at the reservations or the requirements I have on this material so if I do the math so that would be 25,000 25.683 kgs minus 6 kg that would end me up with uh, 25,009.683 kgs. So similarly, if I'm going to reduce or uh, decrease uh, the complete uh, requirements on these or reservations and different requirements, I would end up having an available stock of 24,453.683 kgs. Right? And here we do have the storage locations through which uh, the consumption is, is going to uh, happen and similarly if we would like to see uh, the vendor code I mean uh, the supplier who is going to provide us or ship this material to us so I can just click on the vendor icon here instead of going into the purchase order right and similarly if there is a sales order created for the material I then can click on the customer icon here so that I can see uh, the ship to party uh, code or the address as well right so that's it for now thanks for watching my video see you soon bye bye